Moore is Jessica Tarlov, Democratic pollster and strategist and senior political strategist for Schoen Consulting, and Matt Schlapp, former White House political director and chairman of the American Conservative Union. Uh, Jessica did not get uh, tickets to the game, I guess, with Doug. <laughs> no, so. did she head it there? <laughs> I lost it. Bad ball. Bad ball. <laughs> Um, so, Jessica, why don't you start first? You know, we just listened to Mike uh, talking about the back and forth between the Clinton campaign um, about what they expect. What do you think? Well, I think, I mean, the fact-checking issue is going to be so critical here because she obviously has a reputation for kind of being like mean grandma, right? So she's constantly yes. saying to him, no, that's wrong. No, that's a lie. That isn't true. It's going to look really bad. And it puts Lester Holt in an incredibly difficult position because you don't want to interject too much. You do want to let this be sort of free form, but you also want to make sure that both candidates are telling the truth. I mean, we have many millions more Americans, that was a very inarticulate way of saying that, tuning in, maybe for the first time to this election and we want Likely. them to be as informed as possible you know so if Donald Trump says he didn't support the Iraq war we want someone to say that's actually not true you did support it though you did come around and you said that you didn't just a year later and if Hillary Clinton said you know there was nothing wrong with my private email setup you want someone to say that isn't true and I mean Donald Trump I think will do that himself or he'll smirk or he'll do something to indicate his disdain with the situation but I think you know the onus really falls Hillary Clinton, that she's going to have to moderate this she really delicately. To, you know, as Brett was saying moments ago, I mean, it really is up to the moderator to say, do you want to respond to that? I, I yeah. like that style. When he mentions Jim Lehrer, I mean, this is the gold standard, the idea that the moderator makes sure that it doesn't go way off tracks, but he allows the two candidates to mix it up. It's really not the moderator's job to say, to be the fact checker, because then you are in the Candy Crowley position, and uh, she put her hand on the scale for a lot of us Republicans, and that was a mistake. So I don't expect that to happen. I expect these two to really go at each other. And uh, there's, you know, there's tremendous you do. chance. I do. I think, you do. And, and there's tremendous downsides for each to do that. I think you're right. Hillary Clinton's biggest problem is that People just don't seem to like her. You know, Even Democrats. Well, it's just, not like they like him. Oh, I mean, she, he's got much better numbers. Really? Just, uh, I don't know to, what just to both of you, I, I see five scenarios just to draft off your yeah. comment there. Either he lays back or she lays back, or he goes after her or she goes after him, which I think might be the most likely. Um, I think she might perhaps be yeah. aggressive, or they go after each other. And in all likelihood, you could see all five of those scenarios right. play out over 90 minutes. Yes, 90 minutes. Let's just say this. When time. you see Hillary Clinton at her most energetic on the campaign trail it is when she's going after Donald Trump. She believes that he is just morally and ethically and from a character perspective shouldn't be on the same stage with her. It just comes out in every pore of her body when she talks about him. And the problem when she does that is that it goes beyond Donald Trump when she calls him a racist and a hater and all these things. And it goes to a lot of people across the country who he's connecting to. She's making a fabulously stupid uh, mistake in being so vitriolic. And I'm really interested to see if she continues that theme because I think it's one of the reasons the race is tightening. A lot of Americans feel judged by her, morally yeah. judged by her. Yes. Somebody who has her own moral problems shouldn't be doing that. She has to be very careful uh, about that. But we, you know, we pick up certain themes that they've been both talking about over the course of the last right. month or so. Um, and she often says that he doesn't have a plan for ISIS. Uh, he tells us tell us what it is, and the yeah. secret is that he doesn't have a plan. She says it all the time. So I think you can pretty much expect that that's going to happen. So, you know, how do you think he's going to respond to that, Matt? I don't think this is an election about plans. It's one thing Jeb Bush and all these other great Republicans who ran learned, which was it wasn't about all the policy papers. The American voter wants to make a statement in 2016. When you have the right track, you're, you're the pollster here, when you have the wrong track numbers as high as they are, re Americans are registering your disapproval. It's much more about character strengths uh, than it is about your policy papers. Mm. And that's why he's not really been held to account in these I'm not questions. sure. I think it's a pretty serious thing that over 60 percent of Americans think that he's bigoted towards minorities and women. I mean, that's something that, that's a character flaw that I think that she is right to exploit. You know, that, that's a majority of people. So you are right. It's a change election. Fifty five percent of Americans do want change. The wrong track numbers. You're completely right there, too. But we do have a president with over 50 percent approval. It won't be she, transferred to her. It, no, of course, it won't be yeah. straight transferred. But there are a lot of the sentiment behind the Obama presidency, which is about inclusivity, about equality and fairness. That is what she is running on as well. And those are the, uh, the values that her policies reflect. And those things do resonate with American voters. So I think that Donald Trump will have difficulty explaining away the fact that he has talked about things like banning Muslims. And I know that he's changed his mind now and we're going to think about the countries we should ban travel from. Or, you know, even the comments about Mexicans or Judge Curiel he, he or the disabled reporter. 
Kazir Khan. I could go on, obviously. I mean, these are you things are. that. <laughs> the, well, well, you talk fact, a lot too. Okay, but the fairness, the fairness <laughs> is all these charges. You know, just that exchange right there is just yeah. something. Just pause for a moment here. We work in television, yeah. and I've always thought that when a man and a woman is on television, a woman can be sarcastic or even perhaps a little condescending toward a man, and, and it's okay. But a man can never do that to a woman and get away with it. So did I, fall, what, what? did I fall into a trap? <laughs> did I just so what, so then what, <laughs> is, what is the calculation, if that is true, for 100 million people to right. watch tomorrow night? I think that uh, with all these ads that Hillary Clinton is running about, it, is Donald Trump the kind of president we want for our daughters and the father of five daughters? Yeah. I think the fact yeah. that she's running so hard on that and the fact that she, her likability and her trustworthy numbers are so bad, I actually think that Donald Trump, strangely enough, even though this is the first woman to represent either party for the presidency, um, I actually think he's got a wide berth to be able I to go too. back and forth with too. her. She's, she's a tough cookie, and everybody she knows is. her yeah. really well. I don't think that, you know, if he turns on her and, you know, challenges her, that it's going to be... I mean, but you do think about the Rick Lazio moment, when he stepped into her space. Well, Donald Trump, I don't think will do him. that. It yeah. did hurt him. Um, so, you know, we'll see. It's an, it's an excellent Thank question both. about the dynamic Thank between a man and a woman up there. So. Yeah. This is the pre She and I, we're, 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 we're cool. We're all practicing the man-woman dynamic thing <laughs> up here. Thank you. Working out really well. Yeah. Thank you.